We often talk about how narratives are very important. What we don't often talk about is that narratives and the ability to tell and to communicate your narrative is always centered in power. Narratives inform perceptions, perceptions inform values, and values shape policies. And those policies have had implications for people like me who have been in Chapel Hill for seven generations. They have had um, implications on who was valued in terms of education and how those values transferred in terms of what we were going to put into those children in those school systems. And as far as I'm concerned, they have a direct line. Those narratives that we have have a direct line on how particularly black children are perceived in Orange County, which has the greatest wealth disparity in the state of North Carolina, and the second largest achievement gap in the country. That did not come um, in the 70s, didn't come in the 60s. These were narratives that were put in place historically by people who had the power to inform those narratives and carry out those narratives with policy. So narratives is, is very critical.